Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cutify DIY, where I show you cute and easy to make DIYs to add cuteness to your everyday life. And since a lot of you guys have been requesting more school supplies DIYs, I will show you how to make this cute pencil case, how to decorate boring pencils, and also how to decorate a notebook. And everything has a similar design because I wanted them to fit together and I really like this idea that someone gave me. So thank you for that. Everything is super fun and easy to make and it's kind of a bit messy, but being messy is part of being creative. So I hope you enjoy it. The first design is super fun and easy to make and you might already know this technique. Begin by distributing some shaving cream in a tray. Be sure to do that evenly so you have enough shaving cream everywhere. Next, add a little bit of food coloring in the color of your choice. Here I used a little bit of blue that I distributed with a popsicle stick. The more you mix the paint with the shaving cream, the lighter the color will get, so don't overdo that or the pattern will be too pale. Distribute it in different directions to create a fun pattern. Remember that this is going to be the design. I also added a little bit of yellow to create a green color and then I mixed it a little bit with the rest. Once you're happy with the pattern, take a thick piece of paper that is the same size as your notebook cover and place it on top. Carefully push it down so the shaving cream touches the paper. Now you can carefully remove it. This looks totally crazy right now, but don't worry, we will fix that. Take a ruler and wipe off the shaving cream. And you get a beautiful and unique design. If there are areas that didn't touch the shaving cream well enough, simply place this area back into the tray and repeat the steps. Now let the paper completely dry. Once the paper has dried, you can glue it onto your notebook cover. I'm very happy how it turned out and I find that this is such a fun technique to create unique designs. The next technique might be also familiar to you, but we will use it for our pencils. All you need to do is fill a bowl or tray with water and then add a little bit of nail polish on top by distributing it vertically. I added some blue, red and yellow. If your pencil has an eraser on top, take some tape and wrap it around the eraser part. Next, carefully place the pencil into the nail polish and slowly roll it over the created design so the nail polish sticks to the pencil. Since I wanted the colors to be bright, I first painted the pencil with white acrylic paint. Roll it around so the nail polish sticks to every area and then let it dry. I would recommend using a bowl that is larger than your pencils or it might be difficult to do this step as you can see here. You can also use the leftover nail polish for the next pencil or add a little bit more if necessary. Once the pencils are completely dry, you can remove the tape and sharpen them. This is such a fun and easy way to decorate your pencils and I find the result is so cute and pretty. And lastly, we are going to make a cute pouch for your pants, pencils or anything else you need to carry around with you. One of the main things you will need is white fabric and a zipper. Make sure both are wide enough to fit in your pencils. And since we are going to create our own fabric design, you will also need a tray filled with shaving cream. This is pretty much similar to the first DIY, but instead of food coloring, we are going to use fabric paint. For my design, I used blue and gold fabric paint, but I also had some red paint left. Now place the fabric on top of the shaving cream and make sure it touches every area of the fabric. Carefully remove the sheet and wipe off the excess shaving cream by using a ruler. Now let the fabric dry completely. These are the two sheets for the outer fabric. And since I wanted to create an inner lining as well, I cut two more fabric pieces to size, so I had four pieces of fabric in the same size. Now to create the pouch, place the zipper with the slider to the right side. Turn it over and then apply some fabric glue to the lower part. And then apply the zipper on top of the fabric so the slider is on the right side again facing towards you. Be sure the edges are on top of each other. Of course, you can also sew everything instead. Now add the fabric glue to the top area of the zipper and add the outer fabric on top with the design facing down. It should look like this. Be sure that the fabric is not too close to the zipper teeth or it will be difficult to open and close the pouch later because here the inner lining is a bit too close. Then turn the fabric and the zipper so that the slider is now on the left side and still facing towards you. And repeat the steps. Add fabric glue to the lower part of the zipper tape and glue it on top of the fabric. 
And now just add the glue to the top part of the zipper and glue on the outer fabric on top with the design facing down. Now you should have lining and outer fabric on both sides like that and have a clean fold next to the zipper teeth. Next open the zipper a little bit so we can turn it later. And then bring both pieces of lining to one side and both pieces of outer fabric to the other side. And now start applying some fabric glue to the lining fabric but leave a small gap in between so we can turn the fabric the right side out later. And again be sure to line up the edges so the edges are on top of each other. And since my zipper was a bit smaller than the fabric, I applied the glue right below where the zipper ended. But if you do that as well, I would recommend cutting off the excess fabric or it might bother you later. And repeat the step with the outer lining. But this time apply the glue all the way around the edges. And you should get something like this. Every side is glued together and you have a small hole between the lining fabric sheets. And now let everything dry. Depending on the glue you are using you are done, but I had to fix the glue by ironing it for a bit. Once everything is prepared, turn the fabric right side out using the little hole in the lining fabric. Be sure to pull at the corners and the edges to remove fabric that might be stuck. Next, glue the hole together by folding the edges to the inside. And now all you need to do is letting it dry for a bit and then pushing the lining fabric inside the outer fabric and you get a cute pouch. I would highly recommend using fabric that is as wide as a zipper or otherwise the excess fabric that is in between the layers of fabric might bother you. And now the pouch is ready to be used. I hope you liked these ideas and found them helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already to see more fun and easy DIYs in the future. And in case you didn't know, I'm on Yuna every Saturday, so if you're interested in hanging out with me, you guessed it, and just chill and have fun together, I have the links down below and all the times you need to know, so don't forget to check it out. Oh, and also don't forget to check out App Bounty or Bounty Bucks if you're interested in free gift cards for Amazon or iTunes. I have all the instructions and how this works in my description box down below. So check it out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day and see you next week. Bye!